show stoppers. The show must go on. Born with dysphagia, a condition of difficulty in swallowing and speaking, our showstopper showman Roy went through numerous hurdles in life, but he never let them pull him down. He went through multiple plastic surgeries, palate operation, when he was two years old. Showman vaguely remembers being fed for a long time with plastic in his mouth and a pipe through his nose. However, life taught him to eat and he grew up developing senses. Due to robotic voice texture, due to robotic voice texture and indistinct words, Showman became the target of ragging in school and college, which tremendously affected his mental health, driving him to attempt suicide several times. Today, Showman Roy is a published author, known national and international poet, and the recipient of numerous awards and accolades. Showman truly has carved out his niche, and we at Showstoppers take this honor to present our beloved Showman Roy. Showstoppers, the show must go on. Showman, going back to the beginning of your life, which memory of your childhood is etched in your mind and how has it affected your life going ahead, your journey going ahead? Well, if I go back uh, to my childhood, the uh, journey was not very easy like okay. other people. And my uh, journey was difficult because uh, right from the beginning, it was difficult to eat, difficult to swallow and it was difficult uh, to take out the food oh. that went directly into my cavity, oh. into the cavity in my mouth. And uh, later on, when I grew up and mixed up in the society, I saw that people was not underst uh, understanding my uh, speech, what I'm speaking to them. And uh, not uh, everyone, but a major section. And I was bullied in every corner for that. So at that point of time, I was also a kid because I was unable to understand, but I was getting hurt also. But uh, later on, I just forgave them, just uh, thinking that Okay, if they are not uh, able to understand me, I mean, they had a point of view, but uh, uh, it was not my headache because I was also not able to understand their logic. Yes. To me, I was completely okay. So it was, uh, but now it is, I had moved forward because I was, uh, I kept moving forward because uh, uh, life is to move ahead, no? I mean, yes, we can't right. stick to a particular place. So this is the thing that yes. particular, uh, that is a particular beginning of my life. Uh, is, I can't forget it because uh, I used to swallow food through a pipe in my nose that time. Oh. And since a long major and period... You had, you had some surgeries and all? Three plastic surgeries in my uh, mouth and uh, that time... And how I old think, were you? Uh, one and a half years. Oh my, you were really small. Really tender, really tender. And growing up in such a society where you were judged at every point because you were not vocally correct, you are not speaking that way. They want uh, the way you want. To, they want. Uh, uh, but I was okay with my speech because uh, to you me, uh, to I'm okay. Yeah. yeah. And at present, see, I'm an established author. And those people who used to mock now they used to praise me, and that gives me goosebumps. That gives me joy, and I'm happy with that. You embraced all the pain and you moved ahead. Yeah, so sure. what, you know what happens to showmen is that our experiences and our traumas remain with us for life. And they either make us or they break us. How do you handle the challenges that come your way now? See, uh, right from the beginning, 
if I see right from the beginning, overcoming is the only option to me. Okay. And uh, the solution was that uh, to me is very easy because I never looked back. I was always ambitious. Some uh, dreams uh, went shattered, few uh, dreams uh, went broken, but uh, I never fall short of dreams. I always believe in dreams and uh, many things. I mean, I, from uh, my own heart, I'm an artist. Yes. I'm an artist. I it's the emotion which... Emotion, I'm also an artist. <laughs> Means, uh, from my childhood, I was engaged in drama, social activities, dancing, all these things, oh, okay. you know. So, uh, writing, these are from my childhood things. So, no one can break me. No one can break me. Ups and downs, they came uh, in my life like a roller coaster ride and then settled by the one. You have an immense belief in yourself and yeah. you, have, you are determined because, and persistent I have a very, also. Very, very supporting family. family. Yeah. So you are a successful poet and you are a successful author. And I must congratulate you for your first book, Scar. I've read it. It's wonderful. And uh, some other books which have come out. So before we end, just a quick thing about what triggers you to write such um, touching and beautiful poems and stories. See, writing is a passion and uh, uh, writing keeps my soul alive. And writing is not something very easy that comes in a day. Mm -hmm. It means a uh, dedication and uh, devotion of hours and days. So uh, I uh, continue to write. Uh, I didn't uh, thought that I will be an established writer like that, but I continue. But I, one thing is very uh, sure that I'm a sensitive person. And uh, that is the thing I was very uh, closely attached to nature the joy of people, the sorrows of people. And uh, I just went down, uh, literally, I just, uh, from our daily life, trivial life, uh, my stories are from that trivial life, so that could make it easy connect to people. Yeah, so that's that are inspiring because uh, daily life is very challenging, daily life stories. Yes. So that they, yeah, it's that's inspiring. Happens. And the emotions come out in the emotions form of stories. Out in stories the inspiring story of showmen is for all those who are fighting societal satire as well as their internal struggle. Showstoppers is on a mission and the objective of the series is to let you know that you matter because you are precious.